Hello and welcome back to Tech Days Tema IT Jams. I'm Tech Days Managing Editor and today we're speaking with Cohesity's ANZ of Head of, Head of Systems Engineering, Derek Cowan, and ANZ Channel and Distribution Manager, Catherine Ramanathan. If you could pick two words to describe Cohesity, data management would fit very well. Cohesity's data management focus covers virtual, cloud and on-premise workloads, backup and recovery, automation, databases, compliance, and many others. Cohesity is a company with global reach, so let's take the discussion closer to home to find out more. Welcome to you both, Derek and Catherine. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so Catherine, for an IT manager that has worked with Cohesity before, what are your key products and offerings? Sure. So a little bit about our pedigree and heritage um, to create some understanding there. Um, our founder and our CEO, Mohit Aron, was one of the co-founders of Nutanix. And prior to that, he was the lead engineer on the Google file system. So if we think about what Google did for consumer data and consumer data services, they were able to consolidate the data on the internet um, and create services for that data. What Cohesity have been able to do is we've been able to consolidate data management services for the enterprise. These are traditionally very disparate um, and have multiple legacy systems within a data environment managing those, which makes it very inefficient, siloed and dark. So Cohesity's single software defined platform now manages modern backup, NAS, file and object, test and dev, and also native cloud integration. If you then think about what Google did with the second layer around manageability of the consolidated data, they were able to then manage that data across multiple data centers as well as cloud environments. Cohesity has been able to do that with our SaaS management platform, Helios. So a customer now has visibility into their data environment and the data services um, through a single user interface and they can manage that data anywhere, anytime, um, uh, through Helios. What Google then did with the third layer around services and apps was um, they were able to integrate services. So you might be sitting at home um, Googling a restaurant, for an example, and you all of a sudden can get directions to that restaurant. You might be able to order directly from them and have the food delivered directly to your door. Just over a year ago, Cohesity launched our marketplace, our app store, where we've got both third party and native Cohesity apps. So we've got a further layer of value that customers can start to derive from the enterprise data management mm -hmm. services. They can bring apps across like Splunk and Sentinel One um, to broaden out um, the value that they gain. Our software defined data management platform provides ease of use a lower total cost of ownership, and it mitigates risk for what have traditionally been very complex and very expensive um, data management environments across both on-prem and cloud. Brilliant. So Derek, what, I, what features does the ideal backup and data management solution hold today? Yeah, a good question. So I think there are two viewpoints here. One is from a technical view, and then other ones are in a commercial perspective as well. So from a technical point, I think there are four key areas. And one is around simplified management. We're seeing traditional systems today be very complex to manage, many moving parts, and really organizations want to simplify that management and operation aspect. We achieve that at Cohesi through our API first, where we really look to really integrate and provide that simplicity and really have organizations have that sort of smartphone-like user experience. So we're seeing that as an important part. The other one is really about addressing that data growth. We're seeing this huge exponential growth of data being created as we are worldwide. So we're looking at Cohesity to kind of um, obviously consolidate those sort of data services and really address that fragmentation and growth issue. And then we sort of apply more modern data techniques like data um, reduction, global deduplication and compression to reduce that footprint and storage costs for organization. Another one is speed. Um, really around speed to backup with no impact to production. But what's more important is about recovery when you talk about backup in DR. So we look at how we can quickly find data that you want to recover, whether it be a file, folder, a database, an email. And we do that with our elastic search capability. And then you want to quickly recover or find the data, you want to recover it very quickly through things like instant mass restore. Ability to restore at scale on cohesity and then migrate to production as you see fit. And so the last technical point is obviously having a very scalable platform, modular design, 
that really lets organizations start the right size and grow in incremental steps and really fit their business model. And we do that at Kahiti without any outages to add capacity or software upgrades, really fitting into that 24 by 7 operational model that most organizations have. From a uh, licensing model perspective, we have a very simplistic licensing model. So really, um, it's really about capacity based. And again, traditional sort of models are very complex, whether it be per VM, per CPU, per mailbox. So that's very complex for an organization to consume. We have that very simple licensing model. So that's sort of the key elements we look to to address the, sort of, um, the key points around data management today. Yeah, so how does, can backup be used to improve security? Yeah, I think today it's very important around how backup can be really um, a part of an organization's uh, security posture. We're seeing today the really increase of ransomware uh, on attacks on organizations, uh, even more so during these uh, troubled times, which is obviously disappointing to sort of hear. But really we can be that, um, and what was interesting with these ransomware attacks is they actually go after backup. So they infect production but don't activate and then go and attack and compromise an organization's uh, recovery posture. So really, cohesity, we're looking at how do we secure your backup uh, more effectively? How do we detect any anomalies? And then lastly, around recovery. So from that secure perspective, uh, cohesity's uh, file system is an immutable file system. It can't be modified, tampered, and changed with. So it really creates that sort of um, protection piece around an organization's data. We add additional uh, capabilities around that, things like um, write once, read many, so locking the data set. And then we also look to how do we protect access to that data, and we have things like multi-factor authentication to secure the platform to make sure you know, we're locking that down. Around detection and alerting, um, we, we leverage capabilities like machine learning. And we use machine learning to do things like ransomware detection. So we're looking at the backups, we look at those streams, and we're looking for anomalies in those backups to see if we can detect any issues in the production environment and alert organizations to that. A very simple example would be, we're seeing the rate of change of data on the backup is 2% per day, and then it jumps to 74%. What's happened in that? Is someone encrypting your data or are you encrypting your data? So really bringing that insight. And then the last one around that to detect is things that um, from the marketplace that Catherine talked about earlier around bringing applications to the data. And we have some security pieces around that, things like uh, cyber scan, looking for vulnerabilities, looking for software vulnerabilities which can be exploited and reporting them back to an organization and increasing the security posture. And then obviously the last one is about recovery. If unfortunately an organization has been hit, how do you quickly get your systems back up and running? We do that with our instant mass restore capability and really let those organizations quickly get back to operation and back to business. Brilliant. So you've got a lot of offerings there. Catherine, who are you working with in Australia and New Zealand to get your solutions to market? Yeah, sure. So we are a 100% channel organisation. Um, our software is all about ease of use. Um, and we've really taken that model to our partner ecosystem as well. So we've got two types of partners, both resellers and service providers. Um, and we have them represented in every state across Australia. And we've got a really loyal partner network in New Zealand as well. Our sole distributor uh, for Cohesity Appliances is Dicadata in both Australia and New Zealand. And we also work very, very closely with our alliance partners. So both Cisco and HPE are investors in Cohesity. We're on the Cisco Global Price List and we're also OEM with HPE. We have validated solutions with Cisco and HPE, as well as commercial models. And we also have validated platforms, but not commercial models, with Dell and with Fujitsu. And we have also just recently announced a resale partnership with Pure Storage. So we have significant offerings um, and capability to really provide um, the right solution for customers through our partner network. Brilliant. Okay. So if a partner or an enterprise end user wanted to engage with Cohesity, what's the best way that they can do so? Yeah, sure. So we're about quality, not quantity um, at Cohesity. Uh, in November, we actually released a new partner framework 
to really support our partners at varying maturity models in their journey with Cohesity. Um, if partners are interested um, in hearing about that um, and integrating Cohesity into their practice, um, they can reach out to myself or to our sole DISTI at Dicker Data in both Australia and New Zealand. Um, for end users, um, if you're interested in reaching out, you can contact Derek um, or you can reach out to ANZ Sales at cohesity.com um, or you can contact any of us on LinkedIn. Um, the whole team is represented on that platform. Brilliant. Okay, so that concludes our 10 minute IT jam with Cohesity. Derek and Catherine, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. Thank you, Sarah. No, thank you.